Grand Theft Auto 6 situation. Last night, Rockstar Games surprised everyone by releasing the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer ahead of schedule. Just like my kinesiology professor, they said, to be early is to be on time. So, Rockstar Games blessed us all with something to soy face over in the biggest way possible. The official Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer, and as of recording this video, the trailer has 84 million views. Yo! That's the record! That's the YouTube record! It beat Mr. Beast! Wow! Mr. Beast had like 60-something. It's about to hit 100 M's in a day? Say you swear to God! Views in 21 hours. A couple days ago, on stream, I actually decided to make a bit of an educated guess on how many views I thought this trailer would get in 24 hours. Okay. And boy howdy, I couldn't have been more wrong. Get ready okay. to shoot spitballs at me. I said within 24 hours on YouTube, I thought it would have between 25, maybe like 30 million views. But I did say across all platforms, it could probably reach like 100 million. Well... On just YouTube alone, it's already at 84 million. Within the next three hours, it'll probably hit like 95 million or 100. So I was way off the mark here. I was out of my gourd. It's impossible to accurately convey just how popular this franchise is. Okay, real question. And think about it before you say something in the chat. Has there ever been a piece of entertainment more hyped than GTA 6 right now? Movie, video game, book endgame you think endgame had more hype than this bro they're getting like a a million retweets on twitter i wonder what the rest of the world is feeling like i wonder if niggas in europe is just as hype or if niggas in like asia is just as hype you know niggas in like australia's i wonder like if the hype i'm feeling right now in america is matching all around the world is it is unfathomably huge, just ginormous. So what are my thoughts on the trailer? I'd like to get into that really quickly. And then there's also a conversation that happened after this trailer dropped on Twitter, the home of brain rot that I have to make fun of. I legitimately can't make this video without making fun of this viral conversation that happened. But let's start with the trailer itself. I thought the trailer was great. Okay, now what's the conversation? <coughs> fuck is he choking on oh, i'm back yeah so i can't keep a secret from you i'm sick again so i've got a lot of mucus in my throat and sometimes that self to elon's asshole ian so there's a okay a list of games i have not played gta 1 2 3 4 5 6 dumbass doesn't even know he missed some <laughs> this nigga played san andreas <laughs> all right tried but didn't like doing crime GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. That's two. No, GTA 2 was a top-down game. That wasn't San Andreas. Okay. All right. I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 277 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. Bro, first of all, this goofy cornball, bro, if you have him on your Twitter timeline, my nigga, just go ahead and mute the nigga right now. This nigga... Is like the, the 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 he is like bro he's like how to divide people one on one bro he will find a perfectly normal nothing wrong with it clip and then find a way to divide human beings over it literally bro every time I see him on my time I just got tired of this shit I muted this nigga bro I don't even see him no more I I get annoyed seeing this nigga and he doesn't even live in America I think he lives around the fucking globe he just loves to meddle in American affairs for no fucking reason it has nothing to do with him at all but anyway beside the point I'm coming okay this is an interesting take from Elon okay. I feel like there are some scenes in gaming history that I thought to myself, like, this is kind of crazy. The main one being in the airport in Modern Warfare 2. That was actually fucking insane. Okay. No way to split it, man. We was gunning down civilians in the airport. There's just no way to put this. No, no other way to put it. I made sure every single one of them dropped. <laughs> Nobody survived the killing, man. All right, bro. It was a fucking massacre. That being said, though, that being said, I hate if Elon doesn't like playing the games because he's basically alluding to the fact that he thinks there's real life implications to something that happens in a video game. OK. Proof. That's all, all I need is proof. OK. Not not 
Not proof funded by organizations that are trying to get a specific. No, I just need good quality proof with good research methods. And I'll buy it. Dead ass. I'm not a delusional nigga, bro. If you tell me there's a connection between you, your video game input and your actions in real life, if you give me proof and there's good research methods, I'll believe it. Simple as that. Like anything. Just show me the study. There's no study. So if Elon doesn't want to do it because he doesn't feel comfortable with it, it is what it is. You know, you can't force the nigga to want to do the shit. But I just think it's so interesting. Like, so is it better if they shoot civilians? Is it is it more okay if they shoot? Is it more okay if they shoot other gang members? What are we talking about? In in Call of Duty historically, like you could be a Russian officer shooting uh like in Rainbow Six, for example, Buck is Canadian. He's a Canadian operative. And you could be killing some British operative in the game. Who cares? You're not, you don't hate British people. There's no animosity. It's just, a, it's a video game, my nigga. It's a video game. And that's what it was for the day, bro. When I played SOCOM back in the day, they made you choose a faction. I chose Italian because they had this gun called the Tilly. And it was fucking amazing. And it was the best gun in the game by far. I didn't hate the other countries, my nigga. Italy just happened to have the best sniper rifle in the game. Simple as that. So like, I feel like this is an example of when old people are not understanding culture and they make the wrong conclusion because i don't think elon elon can have his opinion but niggas started to take this trailer i don't know if he's gonna get to it he might hold on let me see if he gets to it tweet made <laughs> saying a list of games i have not played gta 1 2 3 4 5 6 basically just saying i haven't played any of the gta <laughs> games nothing wrong with that i think you're missing out if you've never experienced gta literally bro literally my nigga but hey to each their own elon musk then replies saying tried but didn't like doing crime GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. To which Ian responds, I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 2077 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. <laughs> Bro, so when so when Mario jumps on a fucking Goomba... Bro, even in the most innocent games, people die. Fictional characters die. <laughs> Bro, how many times have I fucking killed Bowser, bruh? On that very innocent video game. The reality is, is entertainment requires conflict. If there's no conflict, there's no entertainment. Simple. Every movie, every book, everything. And the, the reality is, is dying is a great conflict. That's why it's so common. If that isn't the most pathetic read you've ever had on Twitter, I don't know what is. Elon Musk has many <laughs> times in the past touted how soft society's become. Oh, everyone's such a uptight, sensitive, softy. Meanwhile, he's saying... Ugh, Pardon me, pinky out. I couldn't play GTA 5 because I don't like crime. I'm such a good guy that I... Yo, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate niggas that speed so much, bro. I couldn't play Forza, bro. I couldn't. The niggas was speeding on the road, bro. I hate, I hate niggas who don't stop at stop signs so much, bro. I couldn't play Gran Turismo. I couldn't fathom it. These niggas weren't following the road laws, dude. I couldn't play Need for Speed. The niggas was evading the police. I just, I just stand for. I just think you should follow the laws. I don't think there's nothing wrong with following the laws, man. I couldn't deal with the act of shooting a police officer in a video game. Those <laughs> pixels on the screen representing a police officer—they were too much for me. I had to go into the shower, turn it on, and just let it wash away my tears. It was traumatizing. This fucking goober and his goofball hemorrhoid that keeps trying to attach himself there, Ian. They can't separate video games from reality? That's just dangerously delusional. Like, that is a bad mindset if you're fucking lost in the sauce and can't separate a fucking fictional work from the real world. And I guarantee, I guarantee that's not why he stopped playing GTA 5. Because I know if somebody Elon didn't like said something similar, like, if Mark Zuckerberg made a statement like, I couldn't finish Elden Ring, I had to drop it because I couldn't come to terms with having to take a life. <laughs> <laughs> Murder shakes me to my very soul. Elon Musk would be dunking on him 24-7 saying shit like, Zuckerberg's not fit to run a company. He's not in his right mind at all. He thinks murder in video games is real. How deranged and brain rotted can you be? This is ridiculous. It's laughable. How soft. Meanwhile, he's saying the same fucking thing here about GTA 5. I had to drop it because I couldn't deal with being forced to shoot a police officer. 
in this video game. Fucking wild. And Ian is the most shameless here because he's just blatantly lying. So he actually got community noted. He is a huge GTA 5 fan who has even written articles on GTA 5. Ian Miles has written up to 255 Gamer Angst articles covering GTA 5, including descriptions of personally killing or evading virtual police in game single player mode. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the most goofy cornballs on the planet. No cap, when they say like they're trying to divide us, this is they. I'm telling you, this is what his face looks like, bro. This is the type of nigga that he'll come up with anything. He'll come up with any reason to try and pin you up against a different group of people, bro. It's, to me, that's so lame, my nigga. It's so fucking lame. I hate shit like that. And niggas on Twitter eat it up, too. Including evading and attacking police officers in the game. So he's just fucking lying. He's just lying because he desperately wants Elon Musk's friendship and he will do <laughs> anything to achieve it. He finds new, innovative ways of gobbling Elon's meat. Like, I have never found someone so obsessed with his wiener in my life. Ian would fly across the globe six times over if it meant he could kiss the tip of Elon's penis. Ian would probably give up one of his senses, like his sense of smell, if it meant that Elon Musk would look in his direction at some point. It's just so sad and pathetic. What in the world? It's a video game. You don't have to like GTA. Like, that's fine. If you're not a GTA fan for whatever reason, so be it. It's not that big of a deal. It's just extremely comical coming from Elon Musk and Ian, two people who are constantly going on about, oh, everyone's so fucking soft these days, and then, like, going on about all these different talking points kind of stemming from the same belief, and then to go out there and just publicly say, I had to drop GTA V. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with crime. Like, what do you mean? You, you didn't like doing crime, Elon. The name of the game is a crime. Grand Theft Auto is a crime. It is the name of the franchise. You obviously knew what you were getting into. What the fuck? How stupid can you be? And I know he's lying. I know he's just lying. But what are you even lying for? No one's going to applaud you for this. This isn't brave or interesting. Like, what, it's so quirky that you dropped GTA V because you didn't want to kill a police officer in the video game in the opening scene? Like, what the fuck? Were you expecting everyone to just stand up, give you a standing ovation? Wow! Look at Elon! He's such a fucking hero. He gave up GTA 5 because he couldn't I've never deal seen this with lower the, body. the magnitude of a decision like this. Like, it's so dumb. Like, I'm actually getting heated over the stupidity. It's crazy. But anyway, I've been yapping enough about that Twitter thread. Just <laughs> such a shockingly degenerate performative piece of bullshit. Like, it's so dumb. Yeah, I saw, uh, I saw, was it Andrew Tate also say the same thing? Bro, y'all niggas got it, bro. Y'all got it, man. Just don't play the game, bro. That's all you got to do is not boot the game up, bro. Andrew Tate, if you're against a game that involves killing people because you're against murder, I just think it's so ironic considering this nigga used to run a live streaming service where he manipulated women into making him money. I just think it's super ironic. Now, now, all of a sudden, nigga can't kill in a game virtually, but he could negatively impact the lives of lots of women for his own gain. That's so fascinating to me. Where that line is drawn is fucking nuts. But hey, look, though. Just don't play the game, bro. That's all you got to do, man. Just don't play it. But here's what's going to happen, though. I'm going to actually pre what the world is going to react. I, I'm telling you, the next few months. Up, coming up into GTA's launch, legislators and lawmakers are going to start aiming their rifles at video games. They're going to say video games have a negative impact on you. They're going to do no job of trying to prove it statistically, nothing just they're going to and they're going to start equating it to crimes that happen around the world. Listen to what I'm saying, it's going to happen. Some some deranged fuck is going to shoot up a school. They're going to find Call of Duty in this nigga's game. Everybody plays Call of Duty, so it's just like they're going to find it and in, 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 load it up in his PlayStation. And then they're going to start trying to change the laws to restrict the type of games we can play. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. This is what's going to happen. They've already been, like, alluding to it a little bit the past three to four years. I think when there's something as hype as GTA 6 with as much degenerate activity, like, niggas is a lot of ass shaking in the trailer, bro. There's going to be some people that take aim at that, bro. I'm telling you. It's going to start happening, bro. Next, next couple years before GTA launch, I think a lot of people in the U.S. is going to start to like really start to hate video games. That might be like a, a, a talking point 
in the upcoming elections. I'm being so dead ass. I wouldn't be surprised if they act about it. They tried before. It's kind of like net neutrality. Like every time they try and censor the internet so the telecom companies can make even more money. <laughs> yeah, bro. Unbelievable, man. <clears throat> oh, so you like the video. <laughs> Boom. You, you're gonna like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the link. What the? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like.